Did well, shoot it as well second half as the first. They made it harder for for Aaron in the second half, and they didn't guard a bunch of our guys, and we missed a whole bunch of shots. Um, it's tough for Wanting to get it to basket when they jam it up like they did, and you know they're big and long, but. Frustrating thing is not we didn't make shots. Frustrating thing is they made they scored every time down the floor. And it's been a steady diet of that. Coach, uh, how about the play of uh, Isaiah Austin? His blocks, he had seven blocks and late How about buttons. the play of Royce O'Neal? <laughs> Royce O'Neal was only eight for eight. I think he made as many threes today as he has all year. How about him? <coughs> they, I mean, they made shots. He hasn't made shots like that all year. They ran a set for Jefferson to shoot a three. The only one he made, but it's big bibs of that put him ahead, I think. Tied it or put him ahead. And So you talked to the team about where they sit as far as the NCAA and all that? No, I didn't that? mention it, Mitch. You know, here's what, we had a week. We had a week. I talked to them about their commitment to excellence. You know, and I said last week, and I don't want people to take it the wrong way, but we're never going to have the five best, most talented players in the country here. Most people don't ever have that. But that doesn't mean we can't have the five guys that play the best. But that takes commitment on their part. And when you go out and you know a guy's going to drive right because he hasn't driven left all year, and you go out and you let him drive right, that's not much of a commitment. When you know a guy has to turn over his left shoulder, that's the only way he can turn, and you continually let him do that, that's not commitment. When I'm screaming after a timeout to get to where they're supposed to get to run a set, that's not commitment. We had a week. They've all got iPads. They've got iPads with all the breakdowns. They have, they have on theirs, they have breakdowns of the people they're going to guard. I'm not sure what they did. Maybe played Spider on the iPads. I don't know, but they sure didn't watch the tape. Having a lot of trouble inside. If Watkins only played one minute today, was there? A Bob, I, I am. I, I'm not going to do this. I am not going to continually tell guys for four days of practice what the guy's going to do, and then have them trot their happy, you know what, out there, and let them do it. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm just, you know. Unfortunately, we only had eight guys today. Because if we had five more, they'd all played. You know enough. You know, we want we uh, we want to sit there and talk about we want to be this and we want to be that and we're going to do this and we're going to, we're not going to do anything until we're committed. We're not. I told them, Corey Blunt played 13 years in the NBA. We went to play Arizona, and I told him, don't let the center turn over left shoulder. First play of the game, the guy turned over left shoulder. I didn't play him again the rest of the game. I heard Terry Nelson say one time, film, why do we need to watch film? So I said, all right, I put him in. You got Allen Houston. First play, Allen Houston hit a three. He didn't play for three games. He went from thinking we didn't need film to being the best film watcher maybe I've ever had. That's when you can have 15 guys, you know. We're not, we, 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 we think we're committed, we're not committed. I mean, I don't know how you miss as many shots as what we miss and don't have your butt in the gym. I just don't get that. I mean, if I was a lot of these guys, honest to God, and I'm not telling you I was a good player, I wasn't a good player, but if I shot it as poorly as, and had wide open shots the way we have wide open shots, I'd wait till everybody got out of here and I'd been back in here shooting balls. I don't get it. Coach Long, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. 
sort of along that lines, did it eventually get to the point where Aaron was kind of the only option in the second half? Well, Justin, when you you know when you miss four consecutive threes with nobody on you, probably you probably ought to pass it somebody else. You know, I mean, let's be honest. We'll be honest. Uh, one, he's getting, what, 18 a game? Aaron's getting 17 a game. Terry's getting, like, 13. Terry wasn't there. Um, so, you know, Scott Drew's been around basketball his whole life. I mean, it stands to reason let's guard those two. So, you know, you have open shots. And then, you know, if you have a guy who makes one, goes whatever, and he goes two for four. He goes two for four and his – this man goes eight for 14, that's a bad trade-off. Everybody wants to talk about, well, I got 16, well, your guy got 31. It's a bad trade-off. How tough was it without Terry? We've been in that situation many, many times. You usually respond. I mean, generally, we've responded. I remember we, we we lose Casey and I went in. I think we had eight guys then, and I said, you know, we can sit here and say, oh, whoa, well, it's us, and what are we going to do? Or we can sit here and say, let's figure out a way to go win. And that's when Louisville threw that one up the top, off the top of the backboard. If you remember, that happened to go in and beat us by, beat us at the at the buzzer. I think beat us by one or something. And the ball hit the top of the frickin' backboard and went in. I don't not have any idea how. And then we go beat Cincinnati pretty good. It was good. Two road games because they sucked it up and they were committed. You know, they studied. People don't understand, you know, it's like um, good students don't just go to class. They actually go home and study and, you know, go over things, make sure they understand them. If you're going to be a good player, that's what you got to do. Kenny Martin knows every set of every team in the NBA. He's telling guys, you're in the wrong place, man, but get over here, coach, coach going to be mad. You're, wrong, you're in the wrong spot, you're supposed to be over here. We don't know our own. That part's frustrating. A couple of weeks ago, it seemed like, at least from what we could read, that you you felt like they were making progress in. I never said we. I never said we were making progress defensively. No, no. I mean, in the commitment level and the getting in the gym, you feel like. Well, they get in the gym and shoot. If you take 10 people and have them walk through a gym and the ball's laying there, probably nine of them are going to pick it up and shoot it. It's fun. I don't know why, but it's fun. Obviously, going and studying what your guy's going to do is not a lot of fun. We're not, we're not going to ever get back to where we were until we guard again. You mentioned frustration. How how frustrating was the defensive result? Second straight game giving up 88 points, tying your conference high there. <laughs> take a guess. Just take a wild guess. Is that commitment? Is I mean, is that what you're talking about? That's the commitment. How the f are you going to give up 88 points and think you guarded somebody? How how are you going to give up uh, uh, 38 points in the paint? 38 and think you guarded someone. How are you going to let the guy beat you the same way five straight times and say, well, I really tried to guard him. Please. I know y'all don't know a lot, but you're smarter than that. Yeah. The points in the paint, I mean, how much is that guarding and how much is that, you know, their size advantage? Justin, I've always found that the best way for a guy not scoring is don't let him catch it. Did you see us in front of him? I didn't see us in front of him. I didn't see us siding him. Uh, tell, tell me how Wellington Smith can guard guys that are lottery picks and six foot ten and eleven because he fronted them. Jason Maxill to this day fronts everybody in the post in the NBA because he's six foot five. What's the difference? They wanted to. They were committed to doing it. it comes down to commitment. How, I mean, are you committed or you just, you know, you settle? We settle. 
let's be honest, we settle. When's the last time we flipped the ball out from behind? Guys running down the floor. We're, we're, we're just not. We're so, we got a whole bunch of guys that are used to being the best player on the team and everybody kissed their ass, let's be honest. And, and it's, they're, they're not anymore. So, you know, we're, and, and, and they're good kids. They're good kids. And, and, and I think the majority of them will get better. And the majority of them will start to take things to heart. I really believe that. Um, but I don't know, man. I, I didn't grow up like that. I didn't grow You weren't going to beat me the same way five times in a row. I mean, I may knock you down, trip you, do something, but you're not beat me five straight times. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't let you do what you did the time before. I mean, it's that's not... God, how smart you have to be to figure that out. It's basically when you got a whole bench screaming at you, he's turning to going that way. It's you know, it's 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 you gotta you you gotta have some commitment, you know? You gotta be committed to to stopping somebody. And it's it's not fun, it's it's hard. It takes a lot of energy. But how many times did we guard them and, and it got it down to 10 to shot clock and they drove it and shot a layup? Anything else? Yep. Yeah.